Well, Hunter, you've inspired me. You're an inspiration you know, to the youth tell of America. Story about how I lost faith in humanity. Um, right. It started when uh, essentially my floor had a floor meeting, um, and you know, apparently at this floor meeting, I made a couple jokes. I didn't. Rem- I, I didn't remember what they were. I think I remembered a couple, but they're not coming to mind at the moment. It was stuff like, uh, you know, if you're spinning with your arms completely outstretched, that's not random, liar. Um, stupid crap like that. Um, not the most relevant, but then, you know, a couple days later, I'm just sitting uh, out by the doorway with my laptop on my lap, and all of a sudden I hear, so, all of a sudden I hear Hunter, except it was my actual name. Um, and you know, it was just like, uh, hi, do I know you? And this girl was like, you're, you're the funny guy from the floor meeting. I'm just like, yeah, sounds like me. What did I say? And she's just like, uh, I don't remember, but it was really funny. I was just like, that oh, doesn't sound okay. like you. Oh, shut up, noodles. I'm telling the story. <laughs> wow, that's funny. It's so funny. Ha ha. Well, up yours, pocket. I'm telling a story. Ah. I just, I just want to be interrupted. All right, go on. Hey, okay. continue. <sighs> Okay, so oh my after gosh. that, pocket. Keep going. After that, <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I want to hear how this ends, please. <laughs> after that, you know, I, I decided to go out for a quick walk. So you know, I grab my headphones, I go out walking, listen to some music, and when I get back, my roommates are like, "Dude, there were like three girls looking for you." At first, I didn't realize it was talking to me, and I was like, "Oh me?" And I'm just like, "Yeah," and I was just like. Okay, at this point, whatever I said at the floor meeting, whatever I'm not remembering, it must have been comedy freaking gold. You know, they mm-hmm. th- they told must me what room they were in. Real so, wet. Uh, shut up. Oh, against, boy. <laughs> against my better Lovely. judgment, I start, I knock on their door, and all of a sudden someone opens the door, and they're just like, oh, you're the really funny kid from the first from the floor meeting, and I was just like, okay, sounds like me, but what did I say? And she couldn't name me either. Then, then you know, I, I go in, I, it feels somewhat like hostile territory, and as such, you know, you're just like, oh, you seem really unique, and just, I probably shouldn't have responded the way I did, but I, I said, well, I don't want to be unique, and what I meant by that is I don't like the unique crap that oh, has happened to me. And from there, it just devolves into an... I don't want to say argument, because it wasn't super heated and we weren't at each other's throats but it was interesting so essentially what happened was whenever i would say something someone else would just completely misrepresent it and the worst of it was when um i said it's almost as if human emotions are irrational which you know what we feel isn't always consistent with reality i think that stands to reason but then all of a sudden, you know, that gets misrepresented into, oh, you don't believe in human emotion? <laughs> I wish I was making that up. Thing is, to be fair, I don't think she knew what irrational meant. But then she didn't know what wow. irrational meant. <sighs> so Aren't I'm not sure if supposed it's... to be in college? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I, live with, I live with three vaping dude bros. And no, really, they are. Don't judge people, Hunter. <laughs> Don't what? <laughs> Don't judge it's people. Violence week on crossing. No, I'm going to. Our tower. I'm not going to judge their souls, but I am going to judge whether or not they're people I enjoy to hang with, and they're not. Dude, they're just dude bros. Yeah. Don't judge people. <laughs> what? Don't judge Hunter, though. Oh, at first I thought you said don't touch people, and I was like, that was random. Okay. More on topic. Um, and oh, ultimately, boy, you know, I, that's not when I lost oh. faith in humanity. To your, left, lost faith, to your left. Sorry. When I lost faith in humanity was when I was <laughs> talk, telling this story to it's another girl, fine, and, you know, I, I got to the point where I was like, and, you know, I it got misrepresented, and she just said, and what, do you not believe in, and I said, what, do you not believe in human emotion? And she was like, well, do you not believe in human emotion? And I just sarcastically said, yes. Do you, you yes, not believe in Jesus? <sighs> and so I said, yes, so that is a perfectly re- per- fine representation of my beliefs, of course, sarcastically. And then she was like, uh, okay, sorry. well, I don't know what irrational meant. 
then almost immediately after, Tower I, down. I messaged both my parents and apologized for doubting the stupidity of humanity. Wow. I'm not even joking, I actually did that. I messaged my father and my mother because they're always just like, yeah, people are dumb, you're gonna learn that. You're not wrong. Thing is, there was a little part of me that wanted <laughs> to believe that, you know, most people were capable of just basic reason. Nope. This poked a, a large hole in my theory. Dang. So that sounds rough. <laughs> Ah, uh, yep. Spawnman's week.